Now, it's mid-September, and I'm planting two very exciting autumn flowering bulbs today. The first is Culturecum. Now, you see swathes of these elegant crocus-like flowers in old-fashioned gardens at this time of the year. They pop up through the ground, and their common name is Naked Ladies, um, because there's no foliage with them at this stage. They just have this rather long, elegant stem and a beautiful flower on the top. But the problem with colchicums, and I'm going to um, put on gloves now because every part of the colchicum is poisonous. The problem with them is they have a very narrow window of planting because they flower in the autumn, put down fresh roots uh, over winter, and then the foliage comes between spring and midsummer. So they're very rarely dormant. But now is the time between late August and the middle of September. There are some lovely colored and very many petaled sorts that they've bred, but I like simplicity. So I'm going just for this one, which is called Colchicum autumnali album, plain white with a simple white goblet flower. Planting the Colchicum in this relatively open, sunny site, um, and I'm going to plant them directly into the lawn because apparently they will naturalize quite nicely in grass. I've used a bulb planter and a little um, trowel to, to make quite a deep hole, about four inches deep, because they're quite big bulbs, and you always need to bury bulbs to at least one or two times their own depth. Uh, I'm going to pop it in there. Um, but I think here will be very nice because I've got a bank of Sikkim and Hederifolia behind them. And I think the two together, these lovely white goblets against the Sikkim, will make a very nice little autumn vista. I'll just cover it back up again, first of all, with some loose soil so I don't damage that flower bulb that's coming up. And I'm going to just pop the plug that I've taken out with the bulb planter back on top. The other bulb I'm planting today is one called Sternbergia lutea um, and it's called the autumn or winter daffodil because it flowers in this beautiful bright yellow flowers at um, you know very very late in the autumn almost early winter. I'm planting the Sternbergia here at the foot of quite a nice warm bed at the front of the house where both sedums and irises like it because they like similar conditions and also I'm lucky I, I know they like it here because I've got a little clump here already and these are flowering quite early, it's only September, um, but I think further north um, they will flower a little bit later because I remember taking Elaine and Caroline yes, once to Edinburgh Botanical yes, Garden where we saw a lovely little clump there um, just flowering in November. But they are, and they're completely startling and fresh for November. Although as I remember we had a little bit of a job getting Elaine up off her feet afterwards. <laughs> 